Our coach had practice go this week. Well, I thought everybody was well focused. Uh, we had a good uh, sessions in Tuesday, Wednesday, and today. I really feel good about where we're at, and our guys are excited to play a, a great game uh, against SMU. Health wise, you look pretty good. Well, I think we're all pretty good there. There's, uh, you know, maybe one guy or so we will check out on game time and, and kind of figure out for sure whether they're going to be able to go or not, or we may hold them out. But uh, we'll we'll see how it all goes. But for the most part, we should be in good shape. A couple of quick defenses going on in this ball game on Saturday. Defensively on both sides, what do you expect? Well, I think a lot of people are going to be flying around. It's going to be a lot of speed on both sides of the ball, and uh, it's going to be some big hits probably. Hopefully, uh, we're delivering those and and all that. But it's going to be a great football game. It's going to be a very, very good envir environment. They got their first home game, so uh, it's going to be uh, thriving there. And so uh, we got to be able to respond, and we got to play above that, which I expect that uh, we will. What do you think the keys are to rattling their redshirt freshman quarterback, if at all? Well, I think anything is just putting pressure on it. Not as sure you have to get sacks, but he's uh, getting some hits on them. Uh, I think that's going to help putting pressure. Uh, things are getting him off balance um, and making him be able to hesitate on his decision making. Uh, so those are things we have to do, but I think we got to get some hits on him. But hopefully it happens earlier and hopefully throughout the whole football game. For Tyron and Chris on the edges going against their wideout, specifically Cortland Sutton, what are keys to kind of neutralizing him? Well, our D-line, our linebackers or whoever, got to be giving some pressure. Uh, we can't all day long. We just not cannot let him continue to have the ball been thrown to him, deep balls and those kind of things. Again, they can run some fade routes, which doesn't take a whole lot of time for protection. Uh, but again, we just got to hit, we got to disrupt him. Uh, you know, he's going to make some catches. I'm not going to say we're going to shut him down or anything of that nature. And we just hopefully that we can limit to him. Had great balance against Jacksonville, both rushing and passing. Not saying how you do that on Saturday, but what are keys to having good balance? Offensive line is going to have to play well. Um, uh, I think our running game is going to have to be, hopefully we're at that four, 4.5 or so as far as averaging uh, per rush. That's going to be huge. Uh, if we can do that, then I think we can be able to do the things that we need to do. And then when our receivers and quarterback, we got to be able to catch the ball when the opportunity presents itself. We cannot have any drops. We got to be able to make some great plays, and hopefully we have more explosive plays than they do. How about the keys on special teams? What have you talked to Scott about? Well, we just talked about just making sure that we make plays. Uh, we don't give up any big plays as far as uh, on special teams. Uh, we cannot allow them a big, big play as far as on returns. And we got to make sure we win the special teams battle. They have a couple good running backs who get lost when focusing on the passing game. How, how do you find a way to stop them while also maintaining good pass protection just in case they go to play action and try to get you guys off balance? I think it's going to come down to tackling. Um, we we got to tackle well. If we make the tackles right there at the line of scrimmage or somewhere within the two or three yards, uh, then uh, I think that's going to be the key. They got good backs. Uh, you know, they got some big backs there too that can run over people. So I think if we tackle well, then uh, I think we can make them one dimensional. Coach Wimberly said uh, Tuesday that he's a little disappointed in how open field tackling happened against Jacksonville. They were able to get some big plays. What have you guys done during the week to shore that up so that way you can, like you said, get some tackles at the line of scrimmage and force them to become one dimensional, allow the defensive line to get some pressure on Hicks? Well, we just did a lot more tackling drills, uh, you know, not necessarily a whole lot necessarily tackling our own people or bodies, but just to continue to get on the form tackling, uh, teaching those fundamental techniques that you need to do is tackle well. And most of the time it's really just keeping your eyes up. Uh, then driving your feet at contact. If you do those two things, in most cases, you're going to be successful in having good tackles. Coach, the trip into Texas aside, going west of the Mississippi for this football program for only the eighth time ever, expanding what Liberty and the mission's all about, how big of a game and can you compartmentalize what this means to this school and this football team? Well, I think it's really probably more for the school than maybe it's just a football thing. I think it's great for uh, Liberty's uh, brand to be getting out uh, all over the country, uh, obviously down south in the state of Texas, and, and playing a school like SMU, which is, has great exposure uh, in, in all ways, academically, athletically, and everything. And So I think it's just great for our name brand to be out in Texas, and so a lot of people are going to be able to see this, and we're just showing people that we're going to be training champions for Christ.